Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to go over catching the white sea bass and the yellowfin tuna, which will be the next two fish for the winter games. And I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how you can spot these fish and how you can catch them. So let's go ahead and go to location number 18. Yep, Big Sur. Okay, so in location 18, we're going to take a look at our official PDA here. And we're going to be going after the white sea bass. So, as we can see on the white sea bass, it likes a worm and a krill. Which is good news, those two are right next to each other, so it'll be easy to identify it with these two bait. If we go through here, we'll see that there are no other fish that like both the worm and the krill. So... Well, that one does, but it's a small fish. So no other large fish, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pulling up our fish finder here. Oh, let me switch my float fishing. And I'm gonna go to a krill. All right, so we're gonna pull up our fish finder here. We're gonna be looking for one of these fish that has a single fin on top, like that yellow one, that green one, that green one. So we want it to be green on the krill. And then we're gonna press our thumbstick to the left one time. So it's on a worm now. So we want it to be green on the krill and the worm. So as we can see, this one here stayed green. If I switch back and forth, you can see the ones that stay green. So that one there is going to be our white sea bass. So I would recommend usually using the worm uh, because there's less green fish on the worm, so it'll be easy to catch. Now we can tell that it's kind of a lower fish right there by the shadow you know it's not as bright as this green one here so we want to make sure that we have our bait set to our lower level either all the way down or all the way up to the middle uh, but not all the way up to the top for the top ones okay so i'm going to go ahead and just stick it in the middle for now eh, actually it might be now see it's not quite as dim as that one so yeah that one's probably a middle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cast out and if you watch my previous video on how to use the fish finder. Each one of these lines, as you as you cast all the way out, if you count back, each one of these is five. So as you're reeling it in, you're gonna watch your reel go around one rotation. Um, each line is five rotations. So it would be five, 10, 15 rotations would get us to this line. Now, another way is if you get really good at figuring out your distance, then you can cast like right to it. For example, it's probably those bubbles right there cast to those bubbles and see what happens they turned red right away that is probably it it's gonna take off on us and bring it in so if you're doing this for tournament you're going to want to practice. You're going to want to try to make sure that you can get to that location as quick as possible. So you're going to want to like cast out, reel it in and kind of determine where those locations are at so that you can kind of cast straight to that location as fast as possible instead of having to cast all the way out and reel up to it. It'll, it'll work either way. Um, but if you can cast straight to it, that's going to be a lot faster. Like, like you've seen it, it turned red immediately. If you have to reel up to it, see, I got it right there. I guess I should have kept it. So let me go ahead and do a reset because there was only one on that. So I got the worm. I've got a green one here. I'm going to press to the right one time. Actually, I could tell that's not it because it's bright. So I'm going to go ahead and reset. All right, that one's bright. That's not going to be it. So go ahead and reset. Looking for a dim. There we go. We've got two dim ones here. On the worm, I'm going to press to the right. So that one stayed green. That's going to be our white sea bass. All right, so now I can go ahead and go over here. And if you're in the swivel chair, that's even better. Actually, it's probably that bubble right there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cast out. I'm using rod A so that it'll cast at 300 feet. And then I'm going to reel it in, you know, five, 
maybe seven, eight rotations. Well, now it would be 10 rotations. Um, I'm going to reel it in and try to get it right there. Okay, so there's 300 feet. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and stick it at nine and see where we're at. We'll bring it one more. Ten. I'm not getting anything. Go ahead and... Yeah, maybe I went too far. Let me bring it all the way down because that one looks like it's towards the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try eight. That's why I said you want to try to figure this out ahead of time. Practice. See how it takes a little bit longer when you have to reel it in. And they're just taking off. Although there was two large fish right next to each other. Sometimes you'll get a good reset and you'll get like three of them on one reset and you can just keep casting out to those different locations. Let's see when it jumps if we have it. If it jumps. Yep, we got it. Alrighty, so we'll bring this guy in and then we'll go to location 20 and I will show you how to identify the yellowfin tuna. Alright, let's keep him because I need to get my money back up. I had to buy some lures. Alright, so let's go to location 20. Alright, so now for the yellowfin tuna. Where's he at? There he is. All right. So on this one, uh, we have three lures. So I'm going to actually use lures on this one. Uh, it is a lot easier than trying to use the shiner because there's a lot of them that are green on the shiner and yellow on either side. And so easiest way to identify this guy, it's the only huge fish that's green on a whopper plopper. What's interesting about that, as you can see the depth, it's... It's a mid and lower depth fish, yet it's green on a whopper plopper, which is a top water lure. It never bites it for me. I've, I've tried using the whopper plopper to catch it. It never bites it. So what I do is I identify it with the whopper plopper, and then I catch it with the crankbait. All right. So let me switch over here to lure fishing. And we're going to go with the whopper plopper. Actually, let's use the... Whopper plopper, is that it? Yep, B, we'll use C. Yeah, yep, that's it right there. Okay, so what we're looking for is a green, huge fish, like this one here, like this yellow one up top. Here, there we go, there, that one there. That's a huge fish, it's got the two fins on top. So I'm gonna reset until I see a green one. Don't see a green one. I'm gonna reset. Until I see a green one, and it's gonna be. Um, it's not gonna be bright. It's gonna be you know dim like these here. There we go. There's one right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press my thumbstick to the left until I get to my crankbait. And now I'm gonna go cast out and just reel past that guy there. And again, I'm using rod A and reel A. And I think I missed it. It should have been a little bit farther to the right, probably. There we go. That's a little bit better. And he's not wanting to bite on it. Yeah. So we got five, maybe between five and ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast it way out there. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just kind of jiggle it around. There we go. Oh, that's not him. So what I'm going to do is quick retrieve it by pulling my thumbstick back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's him. Yep, we got him. So what you're going to want to do before your tournament, if you're doing the tournament, is you're going to want to practice this. So that you can get good at casting as close to them as possible. So you can get it right next to them. So they'll grab it immediately. Make sure you get those snaps in. You want to knock them out as fast as you can. That way you can reel it in a little bit quicker. Because it's going to be a timed competition. So the faster you can get this guy in, the better. Get that snap. Get your directional poles. And getting these huge fish can be tricky sometimes. All right, there we go. There's our yellowfin tuna. Oh, no, let's keep that guy. All right, so there you go. So hopefully this will help you. Um, if you are in the tournament, good luck. And hopefully this helps win that tournament for you. And if nothing else, it'll teach you how to catch both the uh, white bass and the uh, yellowfin tuna in case you want to go out there and fill your tank up full of them. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.